Our live team coverage continues with KBC 9's Haley Harrison, who is at the scene of the crime, where a memorial to Angel Hooper is still growing, Haley. Well, there are mounds of uh, stuffed animals and uh, handwritten notes here to Angel Hooper. You can see this is where she was gunned down in the middle of last month. Now, this evening, I've been on the phone with uh, her mother, and she tells me that she's really tempering her emotions about this news this evening. Of course, uh, this is what they have wanted, this family. They've wanted someone to be held accountable. They have wanted justice for their daughter. But they also know that this could just be the beginning of a very long and painful legal process. And of course, they also know that none of this will bring back Angel. Um, but people have been showing their support and outpouring of support, stuffed animals like this, notes that say, Justice for Angel, RIP Angel. It is just impressive to look at how much there is here and how much people have really come out to show their support for this family and to really grieve together as a community in light of what happened. Of course, Angel is not alone. Days later, really, over in Kansas City, Kansas, we know that McCole Stewart was also gunned down. And together, those two families have been marching for justice in this case.